Hello everyone, WABYA here, April the 6th, 2017. Very, very short uh, video to show you the perils of purchasing inexpensive, cheap connectors like these that are very common on places like eBay, which is where I got these. Got a whole bunch of them lined up here. I've actually had a lot of these uh, over the years, but haven't had the opportunity to use them. And I was looking for some jumper cables. I have a whole bunch of 1 foot, 18 inch long jumpers, and I needed something a little bit longer. So I've got uh, some RG223 here which is a high-end uh, cable. It's double shielded. All of the conductors are silver plated. It provides a lot of shielding effectiveness, low insertion loss. Certainly good up to uh, 2 to 3 gigahertz. Some RG223 is rated even higher, but to play it safe I would stick to uh, probably under under 3 gig. So what I did is, with the proper crimp tool, and I've probably put together in my RF career as an engineer for over 30 years in the aerospace industry, uh, plenty of connectors. These went on very nicely. I ensured that center pin was exactly where they're supposed to be, used heat shrink tubing with some adhesive inside as a strain relief and I made up some uh, three-foot jumpers here so first thing I did to evaluate the cable I set up my Siglent uh, 3021 X spectrum analyzer that I am still totally in love with what I've got here is cable this particular one is made out of RG142 very similar type of cable to the RG223 except it uses a Teflon dielectric but it uses the same double shielding and all the conductors are silver plated it's a high-end cable this one is made for uh, military applications especially it's good for high temperatures and things like that the connectors on this particular cable were all uh, made uh, in the US. These particular ones were Amphenol uh, crimp on BNC connectors. I've set up the, the spec in, got the tracking generator on, normalized the trace, and you can see the top trace. Uh, is our reference 0 dBm signal. Each radical represents 1 dB of insertion loss. That way it's a little bit easier to see what is going on. First thing that you notice when you put the cables on you actually have to work and they snap into place and there's no wobble. I'm actually moving the cables up and down the connectors there's no wobbling to speak of if you watch the reference trace up there I'm gonna be moving the cable up and down and left and right and you see it's absolutely flat there's no fluctuation in that trace as I whip this thing all over the place and that's really important it shows that there's good connections being made between the uh, ground and the shield and the center pin and the mating part in this case I'm using some N to BNC adapters on the spec end so what I'm going to do now is leave the identical setup and I'm going to replace it with the new jumper that I've made up so we'll 
pull these off. And we'll put these on. The first thing I notice right off the bat is there's absolutely no force required to put these on and the problem I'm having is as I move these cables around just ever so slightly look what's happening to our to our signal so you could inadvertently like right now I'm just moving the cable and I found a spot where there's just a very very poor connection being made and the problem is you'd never know it so you thought you had a good connection in your cable but in reality it's uh, not going to be not going to give you good results so not only do we have quite a bit of an impedance uh, mismatch looks like in the connector and these were supposed to be 50 ohm BNC's I was careful not to purchase any uh, 75 ohm BNC's by mistake I suspect that's still what these may be so this is just a precautionary video be very very careful with the connectors that you purchase the old saying you get what you pay for definitely applies here so what I'm going to end up doing is uh, lopping off these BNC connectors off the cable save the cable because it's expensive cable and we'll be throwing away all of those crimp ons that you see there I've been purchasing them on and off trying to stockpile something figured well when I need them someday I'll I'll have them I really knew better to be honest but sometimes it's it's hard to resist when you see a bag of 10 or 20 free shipping for $15 for 20 of them for example so I stock up on ends and BNC's and PL 259's things like that but in reality they're in my opinion they're all garbage so not to say that everything you purchase off the net is garbage even connectors like Amphenol and other ones are are made not in the USA anymore so it's not a question of where they're made it's just the quality that they're made with and the old saying you get what you pay for is definitely applicable so you want a good uh, look for a good quality BNC and like this one here is very difficult I'm actually having to apply quite a bit of force which means that there's a good ground connection being made between this outer shell and the braid connection that is being crimped to as opposed to this connector here which is incredibly loose loosey goosey so of course as we do that the, the display just goes all over the place so be careful with the connectors that you purchase and don't fall for the trick of uh, low, low cost connectors because they'll bite you in the butt in the long run. So 73 from W8BYA.